Hello everyone, this is Kathy from The Daily Marker. How are you today? Um, today is the second day of December for Simon Says Stamp and they sent me some product and I wanted to use as many as I can. So I just wanted to give you some tips on each card that I made. I made this set of four. I'm usually a color girl and I thought I would step outside of my box and make some neutral cards. So um, this is a really fun die. It's like happy birthday to you, HB to you. And I flipped the die and then I tied some twine on. It's, and it's a shaker card. I tied some twine on the letters. So I put vellum underneath it. And so the shakery part is subtle, which is kind of fun, like a, a surprise. So for my snowflake card here, um, I use these borders, they're so fun, but they're curved. So I'll show you a tip on that, and then these snowflakes, um, and then the sentiment. Now I had some, first notice how the snowflakes are off the card base here, and then I'm going to trim it, and see this little piece? I'm using the trimmings as more pieces to finish the edges off, that way I don't have to die cut so many snowflakes. I watercolored paper and die cut it and then I'm going to put a strip of vellum in the sentiment. Now this is the border and I cut it apart because it's curved and I wanted a straight edge so I taped little segments of this to make it straight on the back and then I put some twine on the sentiment just to tie everything together with my collection for today. Every release, Simon Says Stamp comes out with these bookmarks, and I just think they're brilliant, and I love them. And this little, it's kind of like a little, well, it is a little penguin. I use this um, curved border die here, which is super fun. I want to put some white dots in those areas. But I thought I, I just wanted to do a play on the neutrals, put my twine on this card series, um, and I did a pink heart. Now, there's feet on this cute little penguin but I opted not to do those. Now for my next card I wanted to make a princess, a snow penguin princess. So I took my leftover snowflakes and made a crown for her. I mean what resembles a crown. I hope you think so. Uh, and then I did the sentiment the same way. Just layered it up, put some foam tape behind it. And that's it. So it was a fun card making session for me. All the supplies will be listed in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more colorful cards soon. Have a great day. Bye.